Okay, this uh, first graph over here on the left uh, depicts the region that we want to find the area for. This is the graph y equals the square root of x, the red line, x equals 4, and y equals 0, the x-axis. So it's this region in here that we want to find the area. Uh, over here to the right, I've added a typical vertical strip. And what you notice is that for every x in the interval from 0 to 4, the height is this value right here. Square root of x, take away the y-coordinate along the x-axis is 0. So every one of these vertical strips has the same pattern. The height is radical x. And of course, we say the width is delta x or dx when we form the definite interval. So the area in this region should be the area from, or I'm sorry, the definite integral from 0. We're going all the way across to 4. We've got all these little strips. Remember Riemann sums. They all have the same pattern. The length is the square root of x and the width is delta x or dx from 0 to 4. So if we evaluate that, we will have the area, uh, a value for the area in question. That's vertical strips, part A. For part B, we want to uh, evaluate the same area using horizontal strips. So here's a typical horizontal strip right here. And we want to focus on how long this typical strip is or typical rectangle. Uh, to do that, we have to rewrite the original function y equals the square root of x as x equals y squared. You can do that by squaring both sides of that equation. Uh, and then you have to restrict y to uh, positive values. Otherwise, you get the bottom half of this parabola. Okay, so now we're integrating with respect to y. We're going from 0 up to 2, this y value. And for every y along that interval, the total distance from here to here is 4. And this little distance right here is an x distance. It's y squared. For every y... I square y to get this x value. That's what this is right here. x equals y to the second power. So for example, when y is you know, down here at 1 fourth, this little distance is 1 16th. So how do we represent this distance right here? It's right x value minus left x value, or 4 minus y squared. 4 minus y squared is the length. dy, or delta x, or delta y represents the width of each typical rectangle. We want to sum them from 0 to 2. Of 4 minus y squared, length, times width. And both of those definite integrals should give us the same answer. And here's proof that they do. From 0 to 4, 16 thirds from the square root of x dx, and from 0 to 2 of 4 minus y squared dy. Uh, remember how you f evaluate the definite integral. You find an antiderivative. I'll do that real quick. Here's x to the 1 half. So the antiderivative raised the exponent by 1. Add 2 halves. <coughs> Multiply by the reciprocal of the new exponent. Evaluate from 0 to 4. I stick 2 thirds in, or 4 in for x x to the two, th or four to the two thirds, or the three halves, sorry. 
is the square root of 4 cubed, which is 8. 8 times 2 thirds, 16 thirds. Similarly, down here, antiderivative of each term evaluated from 0 to 2. Okay, I'm going to leave that for you. There you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment. Thank you.